warm teats. Thy warm, warty old teats grizzle. Good cow. There's your own Alice's best beast. Stop thy stamping. Steamy breath, beasts. Warm milk squirt in a scoured wood bucket. Grasp and squirt, grasp and squirt. A goodly sight for a cold morning. My chill blades. Eh, hey, warm me, old bulgeder. Hocked back, firm teats. Pull by pull. Oh, do fill it. Their credulity, it is incredible. Country people talk already more frequently of the infallible and wonderful power of witch finders than they do of the might of God or the miracles of Christ or his holy gospel. Old doting beldames and crazy gaffers suffer geeves, manacles, such instruments as pincers, prickers, ropes, halters, fetters, flame, and the gallows tree. Girls and maids from hamlets far and near are likewise put to the torture in order to make them confess that they have lain with Satan and fallen in love with him in the form of a goat. Yeah! Skittering! Mother Mouse ran skit across my foot! Ugh! Scrabble claws! Out! Filth! Nest of ugh! Pink naked wee mice in my meal sack spoiling! Willem! Willem Cotter! Never here I need thee, there's a husband. Oh, <gasps> kill them, kill them, vermin, filth and vermin. Old women, as keep a cat as pet, and which of them does not? May from malice find milk-fed Satan, sleek Tiffin, furred Robin, pretty Kittock, slandered far and wide to be her familiar spirit. Sent to suck her blood, be fed by her, and do every bad thing she bid it. Hi, Tibbs. There's old mother's old mouser. Did you catch one, eh, Tibby? No flies on thee. Feed thy sen, for I canna. That pigeon you brought back, mind, feathers everywhere. Put that made soup enough for an old widow. There's my best cat. I ken you brought me this mangle mouse as a present. Means thy grandmother well, eh, Tibby Tibby? Give you cream if I could. Purr in the dark bed warmer. But poor old Ginnet sour butts. Oh, Tibby, you're all damp. She is not so much as a drop of buttermilk in the crock's bottom. Indeed, I say again, their credulity, it is incredible. Now, it is a commonplace among the common people that they that suffer from epilepsy, palsy, convulsions, impotency, tumours or the like are very wont to persuade themselves that they are bewitched. Forspoken, blasted, fairy taken, or haunted by some evil spirit. And that their only hope is to find a witch and scratch a witch, and this witch is one they must search to isolate among their neighbours. Ah, but it is piteous. For I tell you, those taken for witches are such as are destitute of friends, bowed down in years, laden with infirmities. And so far are they from annoying others. They rather do not have it in their power to do so much as take care of themselves. Good wife, Cotter. A stoop of milk for a poor old woman. Give me, and it be to thee a blessing. I gave thee last week. But buttermilk? Drop a buttermilk? Scarce enough to steep my substance, all I'm asking. No. Thy beggary is a bucket with no bottom in it, Ginnet Sourbutts. A drain on all the parish. How drab that thou art. Buttermilk? A bit? I don't crave the cream or even curds. Splash a thin blue buttermilk. A crust. 
A cracked egg. I give thee sweet nothing but this small stone to suck on. Come the day, Marjorie, come the night. Thou'll be sorry thou dinna give small arms to an old and starving woman. Oh, God in heaven, help me. <laughs> God and all his saints dinna desert me. Poor Tibby, not a drop for thee, nor thy mistress neither. If such a sorry old dam's arms be refused her, and if thereafter on the household mischief fall, or calamity, mischance, or sickness come to pass, such is her ill fame, that they upon whom such adversities fall are easily resolved to blame her, that their every mishap is brought to pass by her only means. Will, um, kiss I. Go to sleep, Marjorie. Kiss I. I cuddle like you used to. I'm cold. Sleep time, wife. Content thee. Willem. Snores and withholding. There's a husband. Never touch me now. Who used to never let me be, even when I'd a bab in me and the other one at the pub still feeding. I'd say to him, hush, lad's listening. Or I'd say, well, quick then and quiet afore you wake the babies. <laughs> Not thee and me now. Oh, poor shrunk Willem Cotter. Oh, Alice, give me a kiss. Leave I alone. <laughs> Hands off, you almost made a kick of a bucket. Spilt milk, then what would thy mother Marjorie say? I get blame. Not thee, lad Cotter, thou great lout to a bub grabber. Wish you'd handle me, how? Oh. Thou handle thy beast, Alice Fairfax. Fondle, pull. Pull it? I'd not pull it if... Get, go, lewd lad, for I tell thy mam. Get out of the milk shed, filth. Even grizzled cows up and dainties disgusted enough with thee, fit to turn their milk. I'll get thee. Seek first the natural explanation. Do not accept as diabolical manifestations of simple sickness or infirmity. Unless it be nipped in the bud, then havoc flourishes, whereby... Though persons of ill fame be accused at first, soon the suspicion attaches itself like tears to the godly and those of unblemished character and untarnished reputation. Churn and churn the butter, it don't come. Good wife Marjorie, she blames me. Says, Alice, are you with the butter in your time? I say, no, good wife. She say, a well-known fact, Alice Fairfax, butter won't come a wench is bleeding. Bad blood turns milk sour if you so much as stir the crock in your wrong month time. I say, Mistress Cotter, I know my job, and I run a clean dairy, and I never did nothing you could blame me for. She looks at me long, says, see you don't, then. She churn and churn, but butter it don't come. She says, something not right here, and this is nothing natural. Someone's witched it. I say, don't you look at me. Twins found Poppet. Caught them out in yard, gurning and puling, quarrelling with each other over a green stick of a thing whittled. Crude mannequin, a nail banged hard into his privities. Grabbed it, I, said, where find you this? Gurned, boxed each other, pulled. I boxed both their lugs, got out of one she'd found at corner of barn by dung heap. Asked Alice, had she seen such a thing? She said never, blushed, turned that lazy eye hern away from me. Looked at ground. Somewhat guilty-like, I was thinking. What want ye here, Alice Fairfax? I want you to help me with a spell. I don't know no spell, silly girl. Anne Piddock said thou did. Sari Grebe, Grace Trask, Joan Tarry, and Agnes Warboys. Ursley Kemp said thou scried the empty mirror and saw her Robert who'll be the one to wed her and twas true. All said, oh, gin it sour, but she be the best cunning woman in the county. That was not but a bit of fun after harvest time. Just games and riddles and makes girls giggle. I give thee a farthing. Spell me. No spells. Keep your farthing. All I did was listen to the talk among each other about who they had an eye out for. Keep mine own open for the glad eye of lads who they were after. 
where the lassie's glances went, where one could not look, not for blushing. Best give away of all that. Then I'd predict it was easy. Hapney, please, Ginny. Said they were marvellous. Marvellous, Mary. Oh, the laughter we had. A penny. And I'll filch thee a bit of butter. One used to tell me if I hear a sweetheart coming. Must have a sweetheart. Honey hair like yours, Alice. Quince and cream, girl. Cherry lips. Swell bumps and straight limbs. Sweet breath. Even with that lazy eye of you and with a turn in it, I should think they'd have to fight them off. Noyance like flies around thy honey pot. Why seek a sweetheart? Sweetheart only turned to husband. Husband only turned to gurn, grouch and grumble, and then husband will die on you like mine did, leave you starving. No husband on earth is worth thee. Be a happy maid. But I am miserable. Don't tell me Willem Cotter takes grabs at you. Good wife Marjorie won't like it's that. It's that pig, lad, he be worse. Just girt lad, lad. Never heed him. Just slap him off laughing. Gangling girt gangrel. Pig, he be making water. Won't turn to war, but wags it at me, leering. Brought into barn a poppet he whittled from a stick. Where its legs fork, yammered in a nail, whistling, grinning at me. Twists it, waggles, or grabs it from him, throws it in the corner among the dung, where it deserved to lie like he does. Dirt. Old wife, sir, boats. Cheese. Bit of butter. Talk of the devil. Lad Cotter, did thou follow I? I hate thee. Dinner flatter thy sen, Alice Fairfax. Good wife, sir, boats. Butter. Cheese from my mother, she sent it. Said, hope oh, twould please thee. Said, I was to be sure to tell thee. Lift it. Lift it? <laughs> Lift what? Ask her. Not I. Ask her thy saying, oh, damn, I don't know. I just brought the messages. Oh, filth. <laughs> oh. Don't you know to go out in the air to break thy wind? <laughs> oh, pox. Piles and all the plagues of Egypt. May you get gripes in your guts. God save us all from such a stinker. Damn you to hell's burning sulphur and stink midden. Jinnet, tell me a spell for a sweetheart. Cursed you. Aye, mother. God damned me horrible. Took her a fine file of cheese, bit of best butter, and she curses he. Did she say she'd lift it, did she? <laughs> Said, lift what? And laughed at I. Oh, wicked. Wicked. What was that daft maid Alice doing there, ogamogga with the owd bitch? They were talking of the devil. Hush. You don't tell me so. <laughs> what they said. Ogga mogga with the old bitch. And the devil. Piss in a pan. Add an egg and boil it. Hard. Peel it carefully. Halve it. Scoop out yolk and fill with salt. Wind one half with a single strand of my hair. Bind it. Bury it. Swallow the whole in one gulp. Without gagging, Ginny said. Then go in the midnight garden. Did. With handful of hemp seed. Did. Sing. Hemp seed I sow. Hemp seed I throw. Let him who be my true love come after me and mow. Did. And tonight my sweetheart will come to me in a dream. Ginny, I've done it. Just like you told me. No. No. Oh, I can't sleep. Can't sleep, and when I does, bad dreams, bad dreams and night sweats. Just the age I am, says neighbour woman. Gave me cunning man herbs she had for it. Says no witching. Wish to true. If no witching, why my bad dreams? Snore on, sweet Willem. 
Oh, husband, mm. that mannequin with a nail hammered in hard to the fork of him, harming him horrible. Found it, I did, corner of the barn, chucked in the dung heap. Alice Fairfax. Mm. Ow, gin it sour butts. <coughs> oh, son. Lad with a hacking cough gets worse and worse, burning. God spare the twins. The coughing up blood, bright blooms of it, saw it. Hear him in the night, my fine big son. Ow, gin it sour butts. Oh, never gladder grizzle than when this morning come. Dreams. Such dread dreams. I'd not wish dreams on he dumb beast. Woke choking. Heavy weight on me pressing. Dead arm, dead leg. Some sweetheart. I could not breathe, not turn. The weight of him. Horrible. A horseshoe high over Dorlintle. Hammer it home, Willem, mm -hmm. and no witch shall cross our threshold. Hold ladder and horse. Here's a horseshoe and content this end, it is your amulet, and I hope I'll hear no more of it. <coughs> Bless her, says our maid Alice, as the mayor. Came axing her spells for it. Oh, dinner they'll listen to gossip. Oh, Marjorie, but tis true. You women have the nosy minds, loose tongues. Tis a spirit that lies on her nights. Rough as a badger, bigger. A black dog, a huge cat, grey smoke. Lads, as dreams that sucks the seed from them. So maybe mates is as bad. Vervain, dill, and rowan twined and hung, herbs are best charms against witches. I've sent lad to climb and cut a sod from all bitches' thatch and bring it. Not a thing to do lightly, but things worsen, we'll burn it, and that'll bring her. <sighs> Come she. And thou should scratch her. Scratch no one, silly woman, not I. To scratch them and draw blood, tis the only way to be cured of their wickedness and bewitching. If there never were such a thing as witchcraft and wife, I say I am not sure of it at all. I tell thee, charms against it would oft make witches of you silly women fending yourselves from it. Marjorie, have you never thought of that? Indeed. I should prefer, like a groom, to thrust all filth, which I myself loathe, into a stinking corner. But now I am driven to stain paper, if only to dissipate with writing and rationality, and to condemn such ideas as abominable lecheries concerning certain of their beastly and bawdy assertions and examples of the blasphemous belief in carnal copulation with incubus. <laughs> No! No! I hunt thee with my pets and Oster! Uh... Hush! Are you the devil? Hush! Darkness! Hush thee! I'm the devil, I. And if thou hush thee, hold thy voice! Vain impossibility! They do indeed make a bawdy discourse that affirm that the devil playeth succubus to the man and lieth prostitute on him, and carrieth from him the seed of generation, which he delivereth as incubus to the woman, who many times that way is gotten with child, which child is naturally a witch. And such a one gotten by a spirit on a human being, they say Merlin was in Merry England. If I had such a spell, Alice, it'd come from far and wide. My Tibby would live on cream forever. Please, Jeanette, thou hast to help I. Herbs. No herbs I know to help me. Herbs, a spell. It was you that gave me a spell that summoned him. Alice, there be no devil stop thy monthly bleed. Sick. I'm every day a puking. You have to help me. There is no help in him but... Time to pass and make it lighter of thy babe. I'm not pain, Jimmy. I'm afflicted. Satan visits me. I'm sure he says so. When there is no moon. Many nights be moonless. Aye, and Satan visits me. Sucks under my skirt. There's a little tease found him in me privy parts. 
It's true. I felt it after. Sucks at it, and in the dark night, I go flying. How old are you, Alice? Sixteen come Candlemas. Green girl, Alice. Green girl. And God knows I am sorry for thee. Give me a spell. Help me. It was your spell first summoned Satan. Alice. No such thing as spells. Silly. Willem. Vicar says it is something he call incubus at Alice and the girl's bewitched. A devil. I said, more likely in a pact with him, gone over that strumpet. Vicar is a fool and I knows it. Sup! A wicked spirit. Wanton, too. Have's his way with her. Oh, old wives' tales. Sup, soup. Married men are oft bewitched, they say, to use other men's wives and refuse their own. Which witchcraft is practised among many bad husbands as indeed a good excuse. Poor maid. Hey, Tibby, Tibby. Oh, I wouldn't be that young and green again for anything. Found her sitting under a tree, I did. Wheat and shivering, wailing, with her girdle in her hand. Said she'd seen going before her a beast like a black dog. I'd followed it into the pond where it went before her, and fain she would have drowned. But that the water was nowhere higher than her knees. Till she came out again on the other side with her skirts draggled. Tried to hang herself. But the girdle break. I said, Alice, come with me, I'll warm thee. What ails thee wandering the lanes and fields in midwinter, so mopish and melancholy, full of despair? Poor swollen belly. You will not be so long to be delivered of it by the looks of things. Where's father? She said, Jinnet, thou knows it is the devil. I've had to do with him oft times since thou raised him. Yes, sundry times, a thing in the likeness of a bear. Sometimes like a dog with an ape's face. A girt cat, sometimes like a man. I said, tis thus sometimes like a man. Midwife and me will be blaming thy belly and thy babon. Oh, Tibby Tip, would not be young. Glad I'm on the way out, and on the way in. Because I knew it was her. I, I was walking in the fields and following that black dog. And I knew what I was to do was make a way with myself. For I knew it was the best thing. And as I tested tree and saw it was true, and the branch would take weight of me, I saw that hair up on eye legs and staring. And I knew by the bright eye of the hair it was Jinnet. And straightway my girdle broke and I fell. And she was by my side offering all manner of comforts. Vicar put a wooden kist with a lock, so it will be secret, in the church, for all of us to write down the wrongs and who has wronged us, put it in. Blesser wrote it down for me. I put it in. Vicar said... Devil were abroad indeed. Blesser says, Whole village knows, tis Jeanette Sourbutts. When John Orkton drove her from his door, his wife got a goiter that swolled and swole. She died at Martinmas. When Randall Dowie denied her a pint pot of beer in his cold cellar, a twelve-gallon stand of ale began to boil as fast as a crock on the fire. When Johan Challoner cotched her picking a basket of peas in Challoner's field and shouted at her, Sourbots dashed basket to the ground, cursing, and say then, nary a peapod will fatten in that field. When Harriet Kittridge said she would not pay Sourbots for three eggs she'd had of her, 
as, why should she? For certain, old sourbutts had stolen them. And straightway the nursling at her paps began to sicken. Bess Ailey's bab leapt from her arms into the fire the moment after she turned old bitch away empty-handed. Judith Hawker has voided stones since day she chucked one at Janet Sourbutts. Worse even than she may be blamed, any poor, feeble-minded melancholic may easily be deluded and persuaded of her own powers to malefice and harm. Because, bless her, says, I was born with the eye and already without eye willed it could do harm and witching. Even old Goodman Cotter, he did say so. That would be the mark that made old Jinnet know me for one who would be easy meat and drink for her devil master. Because she said no man on earth should be my husband. Because she summoned up for me Satan. And when he whispered, feather beds and betterment a silver shilling. When he whispered in dark to me, what good things he would give me. I was tempted. Said yes to Satan. Told them so. Because when I refused her arms, she cursed me. Because my Willem's member has been thus forth witched. Because si then my butter oft times will not come. Because when my lad, lad, did go to her with fine food, she and Slatten Alice were calling up the devil. She cursed him, and straightway he fell to ailing. Because now twins fall in a faint, and when I ask them who has witched them, they cry, out sour butts, black ginnet. Because I cannot stop thinking about the wench, Debbie. Because was ever poor innocent maids would suffer. Because tis the way. Swear she has had naught to do with any man, not Alice. Neither peddler nor miller, nor that rude lad. And yea, I believe her. Who oh, then? Thou must be wondering, Marjorie Cotter. God help me, but even Satan has deserted me. Dark. Cold. Wish I'd looked at neither broadsheet nor printed pamphlet that Ursley Kemp showed I today. For pictures they were horrible and they feared me. I'm glad I cannot read. Ursley's mistress can read. Ursley can listen. Ursley told her page sign spoke of the true description of two monstrous children born at Maidstone. Pictured to us most horrid. They were twinned, bent, conjoined was the prodigious and strange true tale hot from the press of the hereabouts maid called Agnes Bowker, who was delivered of a cat. It be doubtful which be more wicked, witchcraft or this, the lewd, unchristian practices of witchmongers and witchfinders upon aged, melancholic, ignorant and superstitious people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wife, what are you doing? Firing straw from the witch's roof. Should fetch her. The vicar says good folk using witchcraft against witchcraft gets twice ten times as much punishing from God. Wife, it is wickeder than witch's witchcraft, what comes from good folk that should know better. Vicar! Vicar, pray and fast. Aye, Vicar, what else? Fast and pray. Is Alice better for all her paternosters? Starved lad, but is he better? No. In good Queen Mary's days, it is said church's men had more cunning. Wish, oh, which had which bottle with gin, it's piss in it. It were better, but bitter thatch to do. Burn, thatch, burn. If and she is a witch, oh, lad, show her this will bring her son. <coughs> Smoke and stink, mother. What story? 
Good wife and good man caught it, I must help I. Mother Sourbert's old Ginny that's flicked to me with Satan's snares. She dares come here. For I see her come now across the high field. Save me. Save her from her hell pie. <coughs> What's this stink? Speak of the devil. Be sure to scratch her. Why come you here, Mother Sourbert? I come for Alice. Leave Lass alone. <laughs> She is done with your covenant crew by remorse and repentance. Ask Vicar, and by fasting and prayer. Girl's not right. She has put a child, we a child in her. Worried about wench. Come, sweetness, I'll take you in until you'd time. Which I won't. I hate thee wickedness. Uh, oh, <coughs> who's Babe's father? Is it thy Willem, Marjorie? Scratch her! Scratch her, lad! Hi, Scratchy! Witch! Uh, uh, witch! 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 Come scratch her, twins, and that'll unwitch thee! How could Willem father bane when thou had witched his member? If it were true what witches confess or that fools believe, we should never have any butter in the churn, nor cow in the close, nor corn in the field, nor fair weather abroad, nor health within doors. Yet there are among us many never so content as extorting confessions on these deluded unfortunates by inhuman terrors and tortures. <laughs> scratched I, Tibby. Oh, Tibby that never scratched even when there was a kitten. Tibby. I would have wept to see thy poor old dam so sore abused. Scratched face, we all thorn pricks. Did. Bastards, I cursed them. True blood. Kicked, beat, bruised, abused I. Threw stones. I struggled, but there was none to help me. None. Wish I did have devil for my master. Satan sure could tempt me, true. <laughs> They'll come for I soon, Tibby. Already, I fancy I can hear them with their swords and staves and flamboys coming for our dinner here across the fields. Just as soon as they have my prison ready. I am too old and lame and tired to run, but thou, mon, fetch for this end, as all poor creatures must. Lad be better. Bloom on his cheek. No coughing. Since the scratching, twins are flourishing, and no more fainting fits. Which scratch proves, which is found. That our bitch witch sour butts may rot in jail till they'll try her at next assizes. Yeah, old John Orkton, Christian Sherston, Annis Goodyear, Emmett Buttrick, Randall Dowie, Johan Challoner, Mother Harriet Kittridge, Bess Ailey, Nathaniel Grey Goose, Anne Piddock, Goodwife Orker, Amos Keat, Ursula Kemp, Grace Trask, Sarah Grebe, Joan Tarry, Agnes Warboys, Willem, Lad, I and poor Alice Fairfax, we all of us, have made our depositions. Come the Assizes, she'll give our evidence before the judge. I doubt if Satan himself or all his legions can save her from the gallows tree and burning. Junket tonight for Willem, for tis his favourite. Truly it may be said. Men seldom require a high degree of proof for that which they already believe to be true. Tibby, go away. Scratch and mule be below my high jail window, for I'll round my cell like that thou hast damned me, for they shall say thou art my familiar come. Strip me, pricked me, Midwife poked in my privities to find my mark, needled, nowhere on me but did bleed, made them mad, poked harder, pinched, stuck pain in every pig and wart on my own light, I bled, made them mad, said show the spot where you to let Satan, so God will be all the worse for you, was all the worse for me. 
he said, that God is better, so disprove you wished him. Can't they say he's got the galloping consumption and he's on the glory spell before the end? When he dies, they'll kill me. Next time they ask I things, I shall confess, and then I shall be done with it. They brought Alice to me, made her bear a big, big belly, made me touch it. She screamed, went into a fit, and told them the moon calf in her leapt with joy and bit her womb because it recognised its dumb. And all this was my doing, who only ever made up one widdishing silly spell to please a maid and get a penny. Why, if our witches had the power they are imputed to have, they would destroy all magistrates. Was pain such as split me, screamed I, I burned, I split, I tore apart, I screamed, I bucked, I bled. Push, push, said midwife, I could not but push. I shouted, grizzle, cowslip, dainty, roared like the beast that came to bowl them. I was inside out. I wanted death or out of me this moon calf now so I could drown it. I begged for the devil to bear me away. Blackness, red blood, mist before my eyes. The midwife said, Alice, thou hast a lovely daughter. His look, she's born with a silly owl in her head. This always brings babes good fortune. Be they bastard or no. I heard her cat mew. Knew when the elder up she were not natural. Ship changer. Little demon. Succubus. Slept. Woke. Burned. Wonder was I in hell yet. A black puppy suckling at my breast. Slept, woke, a bab, slept, woke, a grey kitten mewling, needle teeth in my paps, I slept, it turned back to puppy, suckled, shape changer, little demon, succubus, hem seed I sow. Him seed I throw, let him who be my true love come after me and mow. Ay, sweet mercy, hush, shush. Little mercy, we mercy cotter. Thy mammy's dead, sweetness. Dinner cry. For thou shalt have thy dad's name, lovely, and I'll look after thee that is thy grandam. My lad, lad's a lusty lad. My lad's thy dad, though he deny it. You lie in my arms, the image of him. Willem's happier than a butcher's dog to be a grandad, to have a bab about the house again. And twins do love thee so much, so much, I fear sometime they'll tear thou in two. Don't cough, lad. Mercy? Thy dad's unwitched and well. No worry. Glad we got thy man back from witch Ginnet and the devil. Eh? Must be. Thy mam's in heaven and the witch in hell. Jail fever took her afore we had the chance to try her. Vicar says just as well. For judge, he is sceptical that there be witches. He is a man so full of God, he gives no credit to the devil. 
Vicar says George has sent back so many of that hellish contagion acquitted to their shires where they infect and fester, and thus may a good man do the devil's work. Glad you cried at your kirstening, sweet mercy, for they say a babe that cries is letting out the devil. God bless thee, mercy. Thou art nothing like thy mam. Poor Alice Fairfax. The cows do miss her. Oh, my, oh, mercy. She had a hard time birthing thee. After birth broke up and all bits wouldn't come. Would blame the witch, but she were dead already. And tis natural. Many's a mother dies of fever after such a bleed. Midwife set puppies at her breasts, sucking to bring the afterbirth away. Puppies, kittens, and you, sweet mercy. They set thy silly how call on her to lend thy luck to her. But none of it. She died before thou were born a senite. But God is good. And thou art perfect, Mercy. Nay, it is neither witch nor devil, but glorious God that maketh the thunder. The blustering tempests and the whirlwinds blow according to his will. And if all the old women in the world were witches, and all the priests conjurers, we should not have a drop of rain or a blast of wind the more or less for them. Demons and devils are but idols and phantasms of the brain. I say, Satan does not exist. You say, I do not exist. But I say, I am the devil. If no devils, no God. Incorporeal, I am more substantial. I am some deformed thing out of man. Every black thing in the night you see is the devil. The eyes and ears of the mind are far more subtle than bodily eyes or carnal ears. Misshapen, mayhap, I can, when and how, in what form appear to you that pleases me. Every scarecrow on the dark field, a great mouse, a crabfish, a cat, a bear, a man, a black horse that'll come to you and come between your legs and carry you over the green to your own house where I inhabit. Do not exist. Malign me thus, and thou shalt have my malice on. My malediction on you, my malice, my malefice, my maleficium. In Maleficium, Alice was played by Claire Corbett, Marjorie by Siobhan Redmond, and Jinnet by Frida Dowie. Lad, Willem, the Skeptic, and the Devil were played by John Glover. Maleficium was written by Liz Lockhead and directed by Rob Kettridge. <laughs> <laughs>